Hello, everyone. Uh, we are Oasis. We're empowering patients towards hope. So I'd like everyone to meet Tyler. Uh, in this picture, just taking last year, these three pictures, Tyler appears to be a very healthy young boy. Unfortunately, this is not the case. Two years prior, at the age of three, Tyler was given a genetic death sentence. Um, he will slowly but surely lose his ability, to, uh, his muscle control. At the age of 10, he will not be able to uh, he will be wheel completely wheelchair bound, and by the age of 15, he will have heart and respiratory problems. In his late 20s and early 30s, he will unfortunately pass away. And given the current state of the medical treatment, this will not change if not something else doesn't change. So unfortunately, Tyler is not alone. There are over 7,000 rare diseases affecting 350 million people worldwide. 95% of those diseases currently have no approved treatment options. And um, it, unless there's advances in medicine, this will not change, and clinical trials are a key part of the innovation process. So this is looking at the research and development or innovation process. So you start with discovery and preclinical development, animal testing, followed by inhuman testing, which is three phases over the course of potentially 15 years, and then FDA of approval if everything goes well in clinical trials. The real problem is that clinical trial participation is way too low. So even though only 5% of rare disease patients have approved treatment options for them, less than 20% of rare disease patients participate in clinical trials. An even more shocking fact is that 57% of clinical trials fail simply due to a lack of patient participation. And this is really a function of a broken system, a very complex and tedious system for both the patients and the physicians. So here I'm just going to quickly walk through the current process and, and see what Tyler and other families like his has to go through. So after the doctor diagnoses the patient with a condition that has few or no approved treatment options, he consults with the, the family and the patient about the current uh, course of action, the standard of care for that patient. He will also provide the patient with information on what trials might be available to them. However, the doctor's understanding of these opportunities are, is probably limited due to a lack of time and a lack of education because the doctor is very busy. The, uh, the patient will be very frustrated and the family will spend hours and hours collecting information on the disease and potential treatment options. They will then reconsult with their physician, and if the doctor has time, which is unlikely, the doctor will come back to the patient with potential options, and the, the doctor and his practice will connect the patient to the recruiting hospital, or the patient will be tasked himself with finding a way to connect with the recruiting hospital that's running the trial. So this is how we are different. At Oasis, we put the patient in the driver's seat. We allow the patient to find trials that are relevant to him and connect him directly with the, trial, with the, the hospital running the clinical trial. At the same time, the patient has the ability to keep their doctor in the loop. So let me show you how the process works. This is our easy use application. So the first phase of the process is the patient selects the types of condition, here DMD, and the condition specifics. Here they're typing exon 51, which is a genetic driver of DMD. Then they put in if the patient has participated in a clinical trial, in this case, no, followed by the patient's age from a drop-down menu and also the patient's gender. The next step is putting in their current location and how wide their search wants to be in terms of the hospital running the trial. Then they put in the trial phase if they're interested in, so phase one, phase two, phase three, and also the status if it's recruiting, not yet recruiting, or will be future recruiting. And then they select all eligibility cri criteria that will apply based on the disease they have entered. The patient and their family will then be given different options, trial options that match them. Here, we select trial J. The, patients will, the patient will then see the specifics of this trial in terms of the recruiting hospital, the location, and the sponsor in terms of the pharmaceutical company, and can click the green button to connect directly to the recruiting hospital. They can then enter their email address and have a report sent to them that they can show their doctor detailing the specifics of this transaction. And here we have a list of the trials. So these are all the trials that the patient has matched with. Trial J, the patient has received a response from the recruiting hospital. They are awaiting a response from trial K, and trial A with the star is a new trial. So we want to be with the patient throughout their entire journey of finding a clinical trial. So they will receive updates in the app every time a new trial comes about. So in terms of competition, we are aware that the clinical trial space is very crowded. However, we, we also think that our, um, our offering is very focused and simple, and most people are very complex. IBM Watson, for example, is trying to do everything. It's, they have a very complex user experience. Um, our closest competitor is actually Israeli. It's belong and they're focused on cancer research. 
In terms of a business model, uh, there's two parts. First is a referral fee from the recruiting hospitals on a per patient basis. The hospitals are reimbursed by the biopharmaceutical companies sponsoring the medications on a per patient basis, so we'll take a cut of that fee. Also, we'll have a, a small download fee for the application. Um, here's our great team. We have Heba Jabber, who has experience as a biomedical engineer. Yafed Talker, who has experience in sales and business development. And me, I have experience as a healthcare analyst. So we ask you to join us and we empower patients like Ty Tyler towards hope.